I read another interview where you said mm. that people should forget about the makeup and everything mm. because we know that you have been through a lot mm. and we empathize with you and we love you still. Yes, we do. You know, we, we do. do. <laughs> and, and you're saying that you, you still cry and we want you to be happy all the time. <laughs> Thank Why you. is that? <laughs> well, um, I have to be happy because one, uh, God tells me that he's saying all things. We should give him thanks. And um, I cannot be saddened uh, because one, when you grow in God, growing in God is knowing God's word. And as you know God's word, his spirit gets to be embellished in you. It builds you up to the point where you understand that everything upon the face of the earth is vanity. Mm. So I actually will say, don't empathize with me. And rather, um, just like the Bible would say, uh, prepare yourself for calamity will definitely befall all of us. That's so true. when it does befall you, will you be able to be prepared? Would you be prepared? To be able to carry it. Because for me, I, I rejoice, I am happy, and um, uh, I lost my only child, and um, I'm single. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, it looks like menopause is around the corner. Uh, and then people are like, my God, but she's happy. I am happy because God says, I will do a new thing. Mm. God says, restoration is in my hand. God that. says, you know, in his word, especially in Luke 1, 37, say, for with God, nothing. It's, it's impossible. impossible. Yes. So I, I, don't, I don't want to say. Amazing. That's a wonderful way amazing, to wrap amazing up this stuff. Yeah. Yeah.